This is the ladder stitch. It forms a decorative band between two parallel lines. So we're going to start by coming up on the left side and going down on the right side. Now we're going to come up right above where we just went down to form a, a small stitch that we're going to use to catch our thread in on our next stitch around. So you're going to come up and then you're going to go down on the, on the right hand side and bring your needle over back to the left hand side. And this is how you start the ladder stitch. Once you get going, it's going to go pretty quickly. So after you come up on the left hand side, below your first rung on the ladder, you're going to take your needle underneath that rung from the top, over the working thread, and pull it through. So you have a loop around the first rung on the left hand side. Now you're going to take your needle over to the right. You want to go underneath the stitch and underneath the rung. So up on a diagonal underneath both. And you're going to pull through. And this forms your second rung of your ladder. Now you're going to take your needle back down into the fabric and back over to the left hand side. So back down, back over. Pull it through. And you can give it a little little pull. You don't want to pull too too tightly. Now you're going to go between the two rungs, angle up. You want to go underneath the loop. Okay, wait a second. <laughs> Hold on. So underneath the loop and underneath the last rung. You don't want to go between the two rungs, but underneath the loop that's there and underneath the last rung. So the easy way to do that is just to put your, your needle parallel between the two stitches. Okay, then you're going to pull through. You're going to go back over to the right hand side. Okay, so you can see the two rungs there. So back over to the right hand side. And when you go to on to the right hand side, again, you're not going to catch the fabric yet. You're going to angle your needle up underneath the loop between the two rungs and pull through. And that gives you the next rung on the ladder. So you're going to pull through. Now you're going to go back down in your fabric and take your needle back to the left side of your fabric. So there it is. I'm going to pull it through. And now lay your needle parallel between the two rungs and push it through underneath the loop and coming out on the left hand side. Then back over to the right. Angle it up so you're going underneath the loop and between the two rungs. And pull it through. And back down into your fabric. Back over to the left hand side. And pull it through. And you'll see how the loops are holding the rungs down and spacing them out. Then lay your needle between the two rungs and straight through the stitches underneath the stitches there. Don't catch the stitches. Don't catch the fabric. And pull it through. Back over to the right, angled up, underneath the loop and underneath the rung. And pull it through. And back down into your fabric. Back over to the left side. Pull it through. Parallel between the two rungs. Underneath the loop, pull it through. Over to the right, angled up. So you're coming up between the two rungs. Pull it through. Back into your fabric. Over to the left. Pull it through. 
and then put your needle between the two rungs, underneath the loop, pull it through. And that's how you do the ladder stitch. And when you're finished, you just want to go down in the same hole that you just came out of to anchor that side. And there you have it.